Hey, what's up, Integrity Fam? Thanks for watching our academy again. And we are having a look at XML external entity injection today, or XXE. And without further ado, let's immediately jump into our lab. And if we look at this, this is once again um, powered by Portswigger. So thank you very much for that. And we're having a little web up over here. We're going to have a look around. We click some buttons and then we finally realize, okay, we are going to watch the details right now of this giant grasshopper. And there's not a lot we can do, which makes testing simpler. So we're having a little drop down and it gives us some options. We just select London over here. We click on check stock. And then with that, we immediately hop over to Burp. And we do see a post request, which could be interesting. So we are going to use that and send it to repeater. And why? I'm going to show you in just a bit. So if we look at this, we do see the post request again, and it checks for the stock. We get a response saying 712, but now we come to the interesting part. We do see that this is sent as an XML. And whenever you see XML, you should think about XXE injection. But let's quickly learn about XML DTDs. That is standing for document type definition. And those are going to be interesting if we speak about XXEs. So let's quickly have a look what that is. Uh, DTT is basically specified by saying uh, exclamation point, doc type, we give it a name, here it says note, and then we reference to something. For now, it's good enough to know that we're referencing to a file called note.txt. DTT. But can this get any more interesting? And yes, it can, because it can be used for entity declaration. And what does that mean? So within that doc type, the DTT, what we just learned, we can create an entity. And that is also done by using the angle brackets, saying exclamation point entity, give it a name. And here we have some strings. And we can reference to those strings by saying ampersand name, here for example, writer, and a semicolon. So this is how you reference an entity. Now the question is, what are entities and what can we do with those? So there's internal entity declarations, which is basically what we've seen right now. You give it a name and you can, for example, reference to a string. Over here, it's doll duck. But there is something even more interesting, and that is an external entity declaration. An external entity declaration is using the term system. So you have exclamation point entity, the name of it, then the term system, and then you can point to a URL. And over here, for example, we are pointing to a DTT that is hosted on an external domain by W3Schools. But what happens if we are pointing to something else. And we know that we can use, for example, the file protocol to point to something that is stored on the hard drive, on, on the server itself. So let's try something out. We're going to say angle bracket, exclamation point, doc type, XXE, that's just a name, you can use whatever you want. We're using the square bracket and say angle bracket, now, exclamation point entity to create an entity. We give this a name in this point, in this example, um, pass WD. We use the system command, and now we are, we could point to an external URL by saying HTTPS, yada, yada, yada. But what we are doing over here is, we are going to point with the file protocol to our Etsy, Pass WD file. And if we do that, we only have to specify that we want to use that entity in the XML. And we're doing this over here right now. We're going to say, okay, now we have declared the doc type and the entity, but now we want to use that. And we just use, for example, product ID, the tag over here, and we say ampersand, then the name of the entity and then followed by a semicolon. And 
guess what? If we are going to send this to the application, we're going to get something nice and juicy. We're going to get the actual pass WD file being returned by the application. It's getting mirrored in the response. And this is really bad. That's a huge information disclosure over there. And we also solved the lab. All right. So let's quickly iterate as usual one more time what we just learned. We were looking into how we would search for XXE findings. And it's rather easy. Like the first thing you should look for is, is there an XML that is sent in a post request and or in any other request? And what you do next is you try to insert a DTT with the doc type tag followed by an entity. So this is what you always try out. And then you have to reference that entity somewhere in the XML. In the best case, you try it one by one in every single XML tag that you have, and you reference it by using an ampersand followed by the name of the entity that you have been choosing and then followed by a semicolon. And if all stars align, you will get exactly that sent back in the server response for which for what you were asking for and that is pretty cool all right i hope you learned something new today please give this video a like below let us know in the comment sections what you think about this video and what else you want to see and as usual please subscribe in the top right corner and that's it for today have a good one see you again soon